Thank you for coming. This afternoon, I'm taking you with me underwater. We're talking about sonar. Sonar is the underwater equivalent of radar, so it's paramount for many activities that humans have at sea, but it requires knowledge of the acoustic properties of the sea bottom. So traditionally, you acquire this by going out there with a ship, deploying a long chain of sensors in the water from a few yards to a few tens of yards, and then deploying a loud artificial acoustic source in the water. This methodology is pretty expensive, and we are beginning to think that these loud acoustic sources do have something to do with the periodic stranding of marine mammals on our beaches. So people are wondering, can we do this less intrusively? At the NEO lab here at Portland State University, we are trying to condense the entire system into one small unmanned submarine, sort of a drone for underwater applications. The first problem we have is we want to get rid of the artificial acoustic source. And that nowadays can be done because there is a new technique that allows us to exploit the sound of breaking waves at the sea surface as an acoustic source for this particular application. But the problem we're having now is that this technique still requires that long chain of sensors to be deployed in the water. Our underwater vehicle is the yellow thing you see over there. It's about as long as I'm tall, so it's not very long. It's pretty small. Uh, we need to deploy something a lot more, a lot smaller on that vehicle, and that's a typical size for underwater vehicles of this kind. So my PhD research has been trying to address this by working on the data processing algorithms that makes these breaking wave magic happen. By injecting into these algorithms the knowledge we derive from physics about that particular sound, the breaking waves at the surface, and how it propagates in the water column, we can make those algorithms smarter for this specific task so that in the last few months we have been able to deliver results that conclusively prove that the system is viable. We've been at sea a couple of times in the last few years. I'm going again this summer to collect and process data to prove this, uh, to design the system. And uh, in a few years from now, we're confident it will be perfectly developed, fully developed. It will make the underwater environment a little more comfortable for its original inhabitants it will make our presence there a little less intrusive, and it will provide the information we need for sonar applications at a fraction of the cost it has now. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much.